down in the dumps. You shouldn't push yourself so much. You weren't the healthiest kid, you know? Do you have to keep reminding me? It's been ages since I've been sick. I know, but I still can't help but worry. I still appreciate it. But I'm worried too. About what? That do-gooder nature of yours. In case you've forgotten, it's what got us into this mess. Maybe you shouldn't have come in the first place. I'm here for my own reasons, thank you. Like what? Those Spyrexes are trouble. I want to destroy them. Because Mila said so? That's part of it. But I've actually seen one before. Seriously? It was a really long time ago. I know how terrifying those things are. Why are you trying to destroy the Spyrexes in the lands of Kresnik? Because Mila said so? Yeah. N no, that's not why. If you need a reason... You don't have one? I, I do. I just rather keep it to myself. All right. You know, She's destroying the lands of Kresnik is the last thing on our to-do list. Oh, yeah. Huh? What are your plans oh, afterward? Yeah. Will you head back to Fenmon and finish becoming a doctor? Or... Yeah. Will you come home to La Ronde? No. I haven't had a chance to decide yet. One thing at a time. We just need to finish what we've started. Yeah. You're right. Let's finish this job together. You got it. I wonder what Mila's going to do when this is all over. healed up? Don't worry about it. It was my slip up. Yeah, but still. Huh? 
You having problems casting spirit arts lately? I failed like a million times by now. You too? It's like the spirits aren't even there to help us anymore. Just like back at Fenmont. I bet this is the Lance of Kresnik's influence. Hey, this guy is saying the spirits are disappearing and it's the King of Rashagal's fault. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about such things. The spirits would never leave us. Honestly, do you get a kick out of spreading tall tales? They don't believe me. Of course not. You can't just tell them something like that out of the blue. I guess I'm just a shady guy. The townspeople don't trust me, and neither do you. Hey, that's not true. Oh? I save your life, and suddenly you trust me again? You're still a big fat liar. But a trusting one. Throughout this whole trip, you've never doubted a thing I told you. Even when I said the spirits had disappeared, you believed me on the spot. Because it's the truth. When someone uses a Spyrix, spirits die. It's cause and effect. What are you trying to say? Well, it's no skin off my nose if spirits wink out of existence. But it's another story if the result is we humans suffer. But spirits are living things too. Listen to you. You're sounding more and more like the great Maxwell every day. That wasn't the point. Don't make fun of me. I'm not trying to. I just mean you've finally started talking like a bona fide grown up. Huh? Like Mila, huh? I wonder if I can protect humans and spirits too. Thanks. <laughs> Times like this, I miss being a kid. Life was so simple. Thinking about Noctigal? Maybe this is none of my business, but how did you get mixed up with him? We first met when Noctigal joined the army as an officer. He wanted to serve, despite his royal birth. He and I were assigned to the same division. We fought in many battles together. We earned promotions and glory. That sort of thing builds a bond between men. We were truly brothers in arms. It was a glorious time for both of us. However, Noctigal's growing influence began to threaten the power of his two elder brothers. The older princes ostracized Noctigal, even as they feared him. I know what happened next. The sleepless night we all learned about in history class. That brief civil war erupted when the late king passed away before naming a successor. The six ruling houses and the lesser nobles split into two factions. 
It was the biggest political upheaval in modern Rashigal history. And it lasted until Noctagal slew his two older brothers with the help of the military. He was a war hero after all. For two days, the people rallied behind Noctagal and his new regime. Noctagal may have won the struggle, but he lost something dear to him. He lost his only ally in the royal family, his beloved sister, Princess Kerry. It hit Noctagal hard. He was overcome with grief. They didn't teach us that part. He expanded his totalitarian control once he became king, and there was no one left to check his power. Not even you? Many pinned their hopes on me to act as a moderating influence on the king. I chose to leave the army instead. It has been a difficult decision to live with. You shouldn't blame yourself. It's not even really Noctigal's fault. His brothers caused all this. I agree. Which is precisely why I failed to recognize when Noctigal began to stray from the just path. We turned our eyes away from our duty. He and I both. Despite knowing that doing so would cause many of our people to suffer. In contrast, the King of Arjul has never wavered from doing what must be done. You may be right. Despite both being kings, Noctagal and Gaius definitely left different impressions on me. The people no doubt see King Gaius as a superb ruler. He kind of reminded me of Mila, to be honest. An astute observation. They do share two things in common. The, the will to do what must be done, and the conviction to do it for the sake of the others. Ego. It sounds like they go hand in hand. Yes, I believe all truly strong people possess those two virtues. But Noctagal's convictions became warped, and I lacked the will to stop him. If... and I'm not saying you will. But if you decide not to fight Noctagal, I wouldn't blame you. Thank you. Would you mind leaving me with my thoughts? I will make my decision before it is time for us to leave. What's wrong? People won't call me Ali like he used to. Well, hey, Elise. You seem glum. Well, how about finding other people who can get close enough to call you Ellie? You mean get closer to you and Mila? Yeah, Tipo should too. Really? Hey, it's not like I have lots of friends or anything. But I have enough to know they're pretty priceless. And the best part of friendship is sharing new experiences together. <laughs> Jude sure is a smarty pants! <laughs> well, I am an honor student. I just think it'd be nice if we all got to know each other better. Don't you think so? Yes!
never thought we'd end up back here again. It seems like forever ago that you were injured. Have you figured out your mission? What you must do? I... I just want to help you out. I see. But that's not all. I want to protect the spirits as well. You go to such lengths to protect humans. So it's only fair that I become strong enough to protect spirits too. Hmm. You will strive to be our protector. A bold statement. Maybe I've been wrong about humans after all. Hmm? I never imagined one of you wanting to protect our kind, let alone making it his mission. I'm almost speechless. I've never felt this happy. Now I really must destroy the Lance of Kresnik, for all our sakes. That reminds me. What are you planning on doing after you've destroyed the Lance? Destroying the Lance and the Spyrex devices is merely one facet of my mission here. My whole reason for existing hasn't changed. So you'll return to Nia Kara and live the way you did before? Most likely. But, but with Exodus around, won't your life still be in danger? Hmm. Also likely. What you need is a bodyguard, someone to watch your back. Are you offering to stay with me? Uh, <laughs> is that possible? If that's what you decide to do, then you should do it. I'll need to create some story to keep you by my side. Really? Thank you. It's the least I can do. You're the reason I'm standing here right now, preparing to fulfill my mission. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Huh? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. We haven't even gotten to the real fight yet. <laughs> Good point. Oh, just the pair I was looking for. Your wyverns have fully recovered. Let's return to the plaza. Okay. Where's Alvin? He hasn't shown up yet. He's probably figuring out his next lie. <laughs> yep. That's not true. What does everyone else think of Alvin? Would you feel safe going into battle with him? No. He's just trying to help out his mom, right? I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I worry he himself will be unable to deal with that way of life much longer. <laughs> Don't forget, Alvin was the one who saved me from the bad guys! What do you think? We'll need to keep up our guard around him until he reveals his hand. He remains trustworthy in battle, at least. No, no, it's not polite to talk about someone behind his back. I don't care. <laughs> what can I say? You guys are my only allies. That makes everyone. Let's be off. Please wait! Rowan, are you really gonna fight with your old buddy? It is my fault that Noctagall became the man he is. I am prepared to fight him when the time comes. You have our support. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. I've got your back, too! Thank you, everyone. Don't worry, I'll pick up your dentures if you drop them, Grandpa. <laughs> Please do. What, no pithy retort? I guess that means we're all <laughs> ready. Let's make our final preparations before setting off. Elias 
What happened? You're tottering all over the place. I was staring at the windmill, and now the world keeps spinning. Ah, there's no beating big... So many interesting things for a grown man to see and do. That was Long Dao, the language of the clan that used to rule Ajur. Do you speak it? Not really, but I can understand it to some degree. But what made him abruptly start speaking like that? It appeared to be some sort of battlefield transformation. A side effect of his booster, perhaps. Does that mean I'll start speaking some weird language too? Then you wouldn't be able to talk to anyone. Relax, that won't happen. His booster is totally different from Tipo. And if you did start speaking some weird language, I would totally learn it so we could still talk. Thank you. Are you good with languages, though? Well, that's beside the point. <laughs> Flying was so much fun! Oh, nice. The wyverns weren't as scary as I thought they'd be. Well, I'm just glad they didn't eat you. Huh. Too bad they didn't eat Alvin the traitor. Oh, <laughs> did I forget to mention wyverns only eat children? But they don't eat their flesh. They nibble away at their souls. So gently that the kids don't even notice. While you were enjoying soaring through the sky, most of your soul could have been chewed away. That's a lie. That's total nonsense. Oh, I was right to be afraid. <laughs> they make it too easy. <sighs> of the spirit arts that must be required to keep this many windmills spinning boggles the mind. As a servant of House Cheryl, may I ask what your business is here? Oh, certainly. Forgive my intrusion. I was just observing the spirit arts that you use to turn the windmills. Turn the windmills? What is he talking about? I think I'll let Professor Jude field this one. Well, the wind that makes Sherilton's windmills turn comes from channeling spirits. The spirit arts are cast in a way that amplifies wind flow throughout the entire city, and the enhanced wind power is funneled toward the windmills that need it. Remember, kids, this will be on the final. Hmm. Fascinating. Wow, you really know your stuff. Hey, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help me with my research. What are you looking into? I'm studying spirit climb changes, and how they're affected by spirit art usage. My plan is to gather data from Sherilton, with its heavy usage of spirit arts, and compare that to data from Bermia Gorge, which has high levels of spirit climb variability. That's an interesting idea. I'm pretty interested myself. I say we help out. Very well. Uh, great! Okay then, could you use this spirit climb examination art at Bermia Gorge's highest point? This research could significantly impact the future of Riza Maxia. I appreciate your help with it.
Thank you for everything. Please return home safely, for my brother as well. You have my word, young madam. Then let's be off. I believe we just need to follow this road to reach Fenmont. Yeah, let's go. And the walking begins. I'm sure you can see why it wouldn't be practical to ride the wyverns at Defendmont. You'd get spotted right away! Yes, there'd be no avoiding a battle, and civilians would get dragged into it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But is it really okay to leave the wyverns alone like that? They shouldn't have anything to fear from the monsters. Because the monsters are their friends? Oh, no, no. The wyverns may look docile, but they can be quite tough when they need to be. Monsters aren't their friends. Monsters are their food. Really? Oh, I was right to be afraid!
That's the night climb. We must be close to Fenmont. Attack! Huh? Oh, my aching back. Your back hurts? Want me to give you a little therapeutic massage? No, oh, that's very generous of you. Don't coddle the elderly kid. It never ends well. But he's in pain. Mm. I am grateful for the sentiment, Jude. But I worry that your hands might not be strong enough. Perhaps a massage from a nubile young woman would be more effective. You mean me? Hmm. If I had the four, I'd have Ifrit bathe your back in flame to increase blood flow. Then have Gnome send tremors up and down your spine. That would clear it right up. But I suppose I could still do most of that with my own arts. Go ahead. Show me where it hurts. Oh, I'm fine, really. Aches and pains are old friends to a man my age. <laughs> Let's be huh. moving on, then. Huh? Huh? You don't want the massage? See what I mean? Yeah. No more coddling. going on hey look isn't that the lab the lance of kresnik is in there let's go I guess no one wants some old geezer channeling spirits for them. Okay. 
talagang G fuel. I need G fuel. Okay. I'm tired. Are you okay? Mr. Eldon? Doc. Dr. Jude? Lie still. You're hurt pretty badly. Uh, listen to me, Doc. She tricked us. One of the researchers was actually an Ajul spy. When I tried to arrest her, she blew up the entire testing chamber. We'll carry the wounded to the hospital. Come with me. It sounds like Gaius is making his move. We can't waste any more time. Back in Fenmont at last. All thanks to you and the others. Can you believe this is where we first met? That feels like forever ago. I suppose it does. This probably isn't something I need to say again, but... I know. There's no time for waxing sentimental. Right. Doesn't sound like knocking will get us in. The Lance of Kresnik is just beyond this door. There's got to be another way in. Let's look for it. Okay. I don't know anything. I'm sorry. Isn't she? It's the mayor! Hang in there! The mayor of Hamil? They did say that the Rashigal army invaded the village. Ah, all the villagers rose and solid. No! No! Hey, come back to us. Don't give up. <coughs> over again. The villagers were frozen solid? What could that mean? 
Is this what Gaius's henchwoman meant when she said the power of a great spirit? Yeah. This woman was knocking on death's door. She might have been delusional. Maybe, yeah, no. Either way, this is unforgivable. I wonder if it'll work the same. Contraption, help us. It might let us look in on the lance. Here's the video feed. That's remarkable, Jude. There's nothing there. Huh? The lance of Kresnik is gone. Did that explosion destroy it? Surely it would leave some wreckage behind. Perhaps the lance was moved before the explosion occurred. That's the only logical explanation. But move to where? Oh, yeah. Mila, look! I found a recording of what happened. Is that the spy Mr. Eldon talked about? That girl. She's the one from our last visit. You're right. She was the one that attacked us. Hey, what she got there? It looks like someone discovered her ruse, so she detonated a bomb. But isn't she a Najul spy? If I were in her shoes, I wouldn't risk my life like that even if my cover was blown. In the game of espionage, a dead body can still provide valuable intel. Then how about this? Maybe she planned to blow up the lance all along, and Mr. Eldon finding her was just a coincidence. If Jude's theory is true, then it's likely that the girl didn't know the lance had left the facility. So where that did means you she's go? now either on her way to the location where the lance was taken, or trying to find out where that location is. In either case, we might find out something if we can catch her. According to the timestamp on the video, the explosion only happened half an hour ago. Then she's probably still in the city. Where? We need to find that girl. Please open her. Are you thinking about the mayor? Mm -hmm. I understand how you feel. My teacher at school was killed by that same awful machine. It's not that. It's that I'm not actually sad at all. Is Elise a heartless monster? Elise. Yeah. Do you think she got what she deserved? Of course not. The mayor suffered horribly. What happened was so awful. Would a heartless monster get so mad about what happened to the mayor? Would she shed tears over it? No, I guess not. We have to destroy that stupid lance.
There she is. The girl in red. I know you. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I finally get to finish you off! And it's not even my birthday. <laughs> ah. a psychotic episode. But we really need to ask you something. <laughs> Why would I answer you, Claude? Wait, I have seen you before. Is it possible? Are you Lady Nadia of House Travis? Huh? I seem to be correct. But what would compel an heiress of one of the six ruling houses to spy for Ajur? I don't know anything about that stinking house. I'm Agria the Shadowless of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad again? So you're working for Gaius. Yes. What's it to you? You tried to destroy the Lance of Kresnik. Well, duh. <laughs> we want to destroy it too. That makes us allies. If you know where the lance was taken, tell us. <laughs> like I'd tell you anything. Please. Ah! The same reason we do, right? Because it's dangerous? You reek. Uh. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Before I destroy the lance, I'll use it to blast Rashigul to itty bitty bits. <laughs> what is your problem? We're working our butts off to save the world, and you think it's funny to stand in our way? <laughs> you really do stink! What are you, five? Yeah. You think you can fill the world with rainbows no, she's and kittens tapping. just by working hard? Sweet reek of yours is giving Stop me brain loving. decay. What's your beef with hard work? Zip it, you little pimple, or I'll pop you. Uh, excuse me? Uh. I still remember the agony you caused me that day. This girl is making my head hurt. You lost that day. What the hell? Stand in our way and we'll be forced to cut you down. Whatever. It's time we got rid of the damn stink around here. <laughs> My way! You're so strong! Room for him. 
Are you gonna tell us? I should now? warn you. I'm still not used to the sensation of sweating during exertion. Couple that with my somewhat clumsy sword grip, and well, you might consider being a little more cooperative. Where is the lance? Hmm. A secret passageway runs under the laboratory. It connects to Orta Palace. And that is? That's the palace Noctigal rules from. I've never heard of this passageway. Is it still usable? Only if you're a worm. It's caved in now. So we can't use it. Hey, get back here! Maxwell, one of these days, I'm going to rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! And you, pimple! Listen up! Work, 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 as hard as that scrawny body of yours can handle, and you'll still wind up with only two things, jack and squat! Why do you say stuff like that? That girl has serious issues! Orta Palace, the enemy stronghold. We should be careful. I know. Let's check things out first. Why did that Agria girl say such awful things to me? Is that wretched little urchin mm. actually nobility? Yes, I do believe that she is the scion of the Travis family. The Travis estate was destroyed by arson a few years ago. Most of the Travises died in the blaze. She lost her whole family? No wonder she turned out that way. How interesting. You can sympathize with someone you despised mere seconds ago. Yeah, I guess that's the kind of thing Agria would say reeks of naivete. Perhaps she would. But I find it to be a kind and gentle smell. I agree. Oh dear, perhaps we're starting to smell a bit cheesy ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. So I will see you guys on the next episode.